All right, so I'm back out here in Shorewood, Illinois. It's my first time back after leaving Jack, Corey, Daniel, Luis, and Jack 2.0 here to build their first pond completely by themselves and it's awesome it looks so good wow they did a good job i'm just i'm shocked like it's i'm not, I'm not shocked isn't the word i'm just like i really really love it i'd want it at my house of course let me show you what i'm talking about what a great job love the way this boulder got cut into the patio they put a little rock here slightly higher it just kind of helps frame that out looks really good originally we talked about actually doing that on this side i think i like that it was kind of open over here because a chair sitting over in this spot is going to look really really good they kind of beached out a section over in there i wouldn't really call it beached but we can tweak that just a little bit more no it looks so good it's already clearing up really well our fish are back in there they look super healthy skimmers well hidden the couple little plants that'll hide out nice and the waterfall has some great sound hey jack great job buddy thanks looks good Team Aquascape coming at you. I got the man, the myth, the legend, the kid, the kid running the show on this job. He's doing a great job. Jack, what do you think, buddy? Got a little bit of rain delay yesterday. Put us down. Yeah, just you think we pulled it back together today? Put us behind just a little bit, but we were able to get a lot of stuff done back at the office that needed to get done. As you can see, we came back out today. If you guys didn't, or if you guys want to recap of yesterday, the only thing we pretty much got done yesterday was doing a little bit of excavation, and that was pretty much about it. Came all the way down here, and then it dumped on us. So today we came in here, we were able to run the three our three inch line that runs all along the side of the stream, all the way up to where our spillway is going to be at by the pond. Buttoned up 95% of this space and all we gotta do is just gravel the bottom and then pretty much from here as looks you can really see, good with that underlayment surprise surprise <laughs> and right now we pretty much at this point we got almost all the way up to where our waterfall is going to be at for our next elevation change in the stream it's looking awesome guys are killing it we got some edge work already done tomorrow will be a great friday yeah tomorrow we'll probably we're gonna have to come in here and we're gonna have to make another seam up on top and uh for our second liner that's gonna go in to finish off the stream we were able to fortunately get the seam in today as you can see we're able to get this one done today as soon as we got here this morning so we were able to knock that out and uh yeah 
tomorrow's Friday, so awesome. hopefully we're gonna make some really good headway tomorrow. We'll kill it. We'll slay it like we always do. Yep. We had Corey he got some stick time on the old reliable 303 today. What'd you think, Corey? It went smooth enough. See the all the ones that we sent me. today. I think Jack might have already gone over it, but it's looking nice. You can see the shape of the stream starting to form over here. Now we just gotta get the waterfall rocks figured out. But yeah, I think everything went pretty smooth today, and especially, you know, Jack's first time kind of running, you know, large scale project like this. I think it went pretty good. I gotta say thank you. Compliment for me, so that, that means don't a lot. get used to it. That means, that means a lot. No, I gotta say thank you to them. They really yeah. helped me a lot, calling me down and kind of just, like I said earlier in, in the video, just them kind of calling me down and not really like throwing so much stress at me. It was just, it was kind of nice to be, hey, what do you need to get done? Like, it was really nice. Can't really put into words, but it means a lot. So in other words, put it in the comments how you guys think Jack's doing so far. Should we let him run another job? I think we should give Corey a shot on the next one and uh, let us know what you think. Holy cow, that was a close one. Check out the radar. <laughs> we had to scurry out of here fast yesterday. That rain came in something fierce. A couple tornado touchdowns here and there, but we're good. So don't worry about us, everything's all right. We're back at it. I wanted to show you guys a little bit what's going on with the stream. Look at the pond, still just blown away by the guy's first solo mission. Water's totally spotless. Fish are doing great down in there. Looks so good. Chris is back, not 100%, but I'd give him 75%. 5% and working on a seam over here with Jack. The rest of the stream is looking incredible. Move around. So I just wanted to go over a couple things. I really like working with this Pennsylvania Fieldstone. Pennsylvania Fieldstone tends to have like these natural high spots on them, all kind of outcropping looking, but then with these little low spots. So when you see something like this, it's high enough here that I could actually get water to come over part of this in through here and then still back my edge up to this high spot over in here. I could leave all of this high in here and use this little low spot for a fall too. And all of it is like that. Like, see even how this one's high and then it tapers down. This one's super thick here. I think it's really thin there. So you can do these really cool like bedrock looking streams and waterfalls. And that's really what we got going on here. So cool piece right in here. Nice piece here, kind of comes in high, slopes down. There, high, slopes down. Daniel's working on the edges. I love putting pieces even in the middle of the stream. This one's just cresting just barely above the water level in the stream right in here. So the water will just kind of split around it, giving a natural spot for birds to kind of sit there, be dry, and then hop in if they want to get a, their feet wet. As we come back up into here, same thing. We've got kind of a combination of some moss rock pieces that we use in here to frame things out, but coming in here. The one thing I really wanted to show you, now this is super important, and use your imagination, but I'll show you this exact same angle once we get it running. You can see the water level over the height of my rock right here. Well, this is going to determine what the water level back behind it's going to be and you have two options and what you see more often than not people when they excavate out the stream they actually leave the slope coming towards the rock which doesn't necessarily look bad but it's not going to work all the time because what happens is if the dirt underneath the liner slopes towards this rock all the gravel over time is going to continue to migrate down the stream because it's sloped downhill what we often like to do is shoot this level here take our transit or a big long level and make sure everything back behind our spillstone is deeper than this area here. That does a couple things. One, kind of leaves the gravel where it's supposed to be so it doesn't all migrate around exposing liner over time. Two, and I think more importantly, aesthetically, it gives us more of a pool up in there. I don't want to see just fast moving gravel all the time. I want to see little plunge pools. You can see this shelf up in here. Well, here, let's use this one for example. So we've got a waterfall here and I wouldn't call it much of a waterfall. It's only going to be four or five inches, but whether it's four or five inches or four or five feet, think of that water as it comes down and it hits the soil in nature. What has it done? It's eroded away the soil down in there, creating a little bit of a pool. So putting this one here and then everything deeper back behind it creates a little bit more of a pool before it gets shallow moving again. And so we wanna do the same thing. So I'm up here, you can see this shelf back in here. You can see this shelf right in here, and I've started excavating out from where Jack's feet are at. I'm gonna come all the way back into here. So when we build this waterfall, it drops into a little bit of a pool, eroding the way the soil like it would in nature before it gets shallow and starts moving this way. If I shoot the height of that rock there to where Jack's at right here, it's actually the exact same level. So we'll probably even come and shave this down a little bit in here, probably take it two or three inches lower. That way the gravel stays in place without it moving over that waterfall over time. Hopefully that all makes sense. <laughs>
awesome destination stone. Jack, isn't that awesome? Awesome, it's great. Cool. DK coming at you, Team Aquascape. We got Jack, the kid, the kid running the job. Now, I gotta say, when I was a kid, a lot of people gave me a lot of great opportunities. And looking back the last 25 plus years, it's gotten me where I am today. And what's been really cool for me is seeing Jack get those same type of opportunities. And it'll be really cool working with him over the next 20, 25 years and seeing how he transforms and, and does well with that. So, speaking of the devil, we had an awesome day today. We had Chris back. He's been a little under the weather. And we had Brian on the job for a while. Mm -hmm. It was a successful day. Awesome Monday. Friday. We're ready for the weekend. You're ready to see this thing up and running, which is like five minutes in vlog land. So. Us, we gotta wait a little while. But us, it'll be next week. So, that being said, why don't we have Jack walk us through what we got done today? What do you think, kid? We did it good today. I'm yeah. happy with our progress. So as you guys can see, we finished up the basin. So now everything up until almost the buckets is we're pretty much 100% done up until that point. We were able to come in through today, grab all the rest of this train. As you can see, we have these three big steppers leading you from the grass to her gazebo. And right here, when we first got here, she had her patio came out just a little farther than these stones right here. And we wanted to match that up to our stepping stones so then you could easily access her nice. fire pit and her seating area. And where you can see the entire Thomas waterfall at. So that's gonna be the key viewing area of this entire project it's gonna be where she's gonna sit back relax after working hard and enjoying what we built for her. so Jack walk us through the art yeah so we got one more pole here as you come along here today we, we actually raised this rock up a little bit so once the video comes out you guys will be able to see where that where the water does so this is gonna be like the high point and the water is gonna kind of split around it kind of dam it up the water back here so you, you have some different elevations in water right here is our other spill stone so our second waterfall this will be the main waterfall and the second main waterfall sit from that seat over there so you'll be able to see that this water fall from that green chair over there. As we walk up this way, you can see we have this big flat rock. Now this big flat rock is gonna take you. What Mindy was, when we first got here, Mindy really wanted to still access her peach tree. And so right here we have these big flat steppers to, so she can get across, she can pick all her peaches off this peach tree. Nice. Right here we wanted to get a lot of twisting and turning in this area. So it's really, it's gonna come through. We're still setting this waterfall, but the waterfall is gonna come into this plunge pool, gonna dam up in this area, and it's gonna crash over this rock. So this rock is actually gonna be half submerged and half out of the water so the water i think water line is pretty somewhere around here so is it going to give it the illusion of bedrock yeah that's exactly what we're going for we don't like to have all gravel on the bottom we like to add those big flat pieces just to change up the look of it we have all big rock on the side but we like to add those big pieces in for character nice. on the bottom but yeah it's going to come it's going to zigzag all through here it's going to get super thick in this area i mean water is going to be a couple inches thick in here just trying to just trying to rush that seven thousand gallons of water that's going to come through here and then awesome. we had two seams that we had to do today this was our second seam our our first seam down was down here right here. So being a short distance, why did we seam twice and not just run the liner all the way through? To give us more flexibility. Because so of the had, twisting and the turning, it yeah, allowed us it, to maneuver that liner probably, better, right? Yeah, when we had this liner, it, it stopped right here, so we would have had to almost turn it nine degrees at some point to get it up at the spillway sitting over by the pond. And it just allows us, like, yeah, we could have pulled off an overlap right here, but it, we, we want to be able to be as creative with our design, because we're going to have to dig this area out, and especially with that pooling area down there, when the, when the water dams up, it might go over for where our seam could have been. So what we got left is this last upper pooling area and the actual actual waterfall, correct? Yeah, so we're gonna come back out next week and we're gonna be able to hammer out the rest of this. I mean, it's just gonna be a big flat rock, so it's gonna look really cool. I think we're gonna kinda maybe try to mimic down here so you get a lot of twisting and turning. And then we might, we don't know yet, but we might put in a bridge going along to the seating area up here. We don't know if we're gonna do a bridge or stepping stones. I'm trying to go in for that bridge effect because we already have stepping stones. I know Brian- So not one there. set of stepping stones, one over there, second one there, but a third one there? Maybe. 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 The suspense is killing me. Exactly. Awesome. That being said, we're going to wrap it up. We're going to get out of here because it's the weekend and it's ice cream 30 for Jack's case. <laughs> Beer 30 it's always ice cream time in my book. Yeah. See ya.